Is it just me, or do these balls look like they're climbing the stairs on their own? Okay, it's definitely not just me. And it's no wonder, because machines like this have been playing tricks on our eyes for centuries. Hey there, Andy here. The machine you just saw is called an automaton. These mechanical marvels are machines that seem to operate by themselves. Automatons are often considered an ancient ancestor of the robots we know today. Most early automatons were made to entertain, and considering they were invented long before electricity, a lot of people thought their movements were made with magic. In the 12th century, an Arabic scientist designed a water-driven robot band that played music to delight royal guests. The automaton's musicians moved their bodies during each song they seemingly played. As automatons evolved, inventors gave them more human-like characteristics. This wooden mechanical monk was believed to have been built in the 16th century. When its key is cranked, it appears to mouth prayers and kisses a cross. Animal automatons were also used to wow crowds. In the 18th century, a French inventor built a life-size automaton duck. The curious copper creature could quack, swim, and even appeared to poop. So it was named the digesting duck. In the 19th and 20th century, a bunch of different automatons were invented, and these machines could be found almost everywhere. Mechanical dolls became a sign of sophistication, and pop-up toys, like the Jack in the Box, became a childhood staple. Have you ever seen a cuckoo clock? Well, this ticking treasure is also a type of automaton. Many automatons consisted the same basic parts that work together to make it look like they're operating on their own just like the Tinker Crate Automaton. On the outside, there's a crank, which turns to make continual motion. As the crankshaft spins, it turns these circular parts called cams. These cams are egg-shaped, so they rise and fall instead of spinning around the center like a wheel. The cams push the wood stairs above them up and down, transforming the round and round motion of the crank into up and down motion. Because the cams aren't lined up, each stair goes up and down at a different time. When one stair goes up, the one next to it goes down. As that process repeats, the stairs lift the ball all the way to the top. Then the ball rolls down the ramp to the bottom of the stairs, and it starts all over again. More complicated automatons use dozens if not hundreds of tiny parts to make it look like they're operating on their own. In addition to cranks and cams, automatons like watches automatically tick using gears, levers, and links. Automaton watches are still made and used today. Even after thousands of years, automatons are still fascinating, and tinkerers around the world continue to learn from these seemingly magical moving creations. If you want the materials to build your own automaton delivered to your door, check out kiwico.com. We also have a bunch of other fun crates that will keep you inventing. And watch our videos here if you want to make an automaton right now with materials you have at home. We can't wait to see what you create.